Hello everyone. Do you see this hand drawn curve? Does it look like a roller coaster's path? And I am going to show you how this is related to polynomials and how polynomials are actually used to construct roller coasters. All right. So let us look at the simplest polynomial, a point. A point itself is a polynomial. All right. Then we can also have a polynomial f of x equal to x. This line shows you the curve of f of x equal to x. If we have x plus 4, then you can see that this line was shifted 4 units above it when we added a constant. When we subtract a constant, like if we do x minus 2, then it will be shifted below. Okay. Then, which was your x plus 4? the top line then the bottom one was x minus 2 and the middle line was x right if we multiply something to x a coefficient like 2 it is getting rotated towards the left then multiplying with 4 it is getting more rotated but if we multiply something less than 1 then it is rotated downward 2 by 3 is less than 1 right so you could see 2 by 3 when multiplied to x forms that line now this curve like cup shape is the curve of x square right when we have x square we have get we get this curve let us remove this x and let's see x cube this is what x cube is however let's see what happens when we add a constant to x square let us add 3 and you will find that we get a red line which is shifted above if we subtract 3 you get this blue line which is shifted below the cups here as you can see the blue line was shifted below and the red line was shifted over it now what happens if you multiply a constant to x square you see that cup contracts the curve right it contracts if we multiply 4 it contracts more so the bigger the constant it will contract more and more if we multiply something less than 1 to x square all right then it will expand you will see the cup is now very much pointed this pointed curve will become much more expanded when we multiply something to x square which is less than 1 say for 4 by 9 when we multiply 4 by 9 you see the cup is expanding now instead of that if we put a minus so negative curve as you see it was totally inverted earlier the cup was there now it is a inverted curve right that purple line is your original x square and on inversion on uh, putting a minus over it it got inverted right so if we divide it with 4 see again it is expanding because that division by 4 is ultimately multiplying with something which is numerically less than 1 so that is your x cube all right i told you earlier so when we divide x cube or cubic polynomial by a constant you get that the curve flattened much more right you can see the points where minus 3 and the curve and 3 and the curve meet because 27 cube root is 3 and you can see that at that point the curve is passing through that point 3 comma 1 and minus 3 comma minus 1 it is passing through those two points when you add a constant to cube like 5 it goes up and when we subtract a constant like 2 x cube minus 2 it goes down if we subtract x cube minus 27 it goes 2 down and hence I am scaling down the y axis to get it visible but I am not scaling down the x axis as hence you can see the curve actually flattened when I scale down only one axis it flattened right when I scale down the y-axis the curve flattened more and more anyway what we need is not these curves we need to draw a roller coaster right from a hand-drawn curve this is just a hand-drawn curve that I have uh, made as an idea for getting my roller coaster start so I'm going to mark all the points, not all the points, a few points on this curve so that I can get an idea 
how this um, roller coaster will act like in case of polynomials so i'm marking these points all right and uh, let us fast forward it to get those points only these are my points where i have drawn the curve right this was the curve that i have drawn actually i have just mixed the images together earlier i have drawn the curve and then i have marked the point and then i have just joined them together so that you can see it right so these are the points along which i need to draw the roller coaster where c is the point of starting point of the roller coaster so let me just write one equation x cube by 27 plus x square by 4 plus thrice x by 32 plus 6 now this is the curve that i am going to use to represent the initial path of the roller coaster then i am introducing a inverted cup also whose equation is minus x minus 4 whole square plus 10.45 10.45 makes me that uh, it touches this curve right and uh, you can see that point of connection and uh, this is the point of connection from where the roller coaster will shift to this curve all right and then this is the highest point that the roller coaster will reach and it shall come down down and uh, as you see if it goes down more down it is going to fall somewhere and uh, if you recall what was the curve we also need a initial start for the roller coaster which is CB then we have also done this cubic polynomial part and this inverted cup part but one is left this cup shape is left and how do we represent this cup shape as you can see it is 8 units to the right of origin so we write it x minus 8 and but it should be positive why because it is a cup and 2.5 in top hence we get this curve which is almost representing the path of the roller coaster right so what do we have till now the last cup path then we also have this uh, inverted cup let me bring this inverted cup to you so that you can see it that this inverted cup should be attached to the last path right they should be in connection and you can see the point n it is getting connected with the inverted cup then we also need the cubic part of the path right so let us bring that cubic but not this one uh, we need the first one that x cube by 27 one and uh, then we have that cv the line segment cv so this is ultimately a line segment which is a polynomial the cubic part a polynomial the inverted cup a polynomial and then the normal cup another polynomial so you have a cubic poly a linear polynomial a cubic polynomial and two quadratic polynomial which represents the path of this roller coaster and cb is the initial path of the roller coaster then we have this cubic path so we bring the cubic curve then we have the inverted cup whose highest point is what that point l is the highest point right and uh, so we need to bring that inverted cup also whose equation was minus x minus 4 whole square plus 10.45 and uh, next we need to bring this original cup whose equation was x minus 8 whole square plus 2.5 what was the equation of the cubic polynomial it was x cubed by 27 plus x squared by 4 plus thrice x by 32 plus 6 all right so here is our roller coaster which will follow this path at this point uh, the machine will give a push and then the gravity will help it out so how will it take a ride let's leave it on and you can see how it takes the motion it goes up it comes down and obviously I have represented this much only you can pull it as long as you want or any, as many other curves you can introduce but 
end it here and we shall study about polynomials in our next class in detail thank you